Today we will learn how to make a person invisible in Photoshop. So let's get started. Okay, I choose this image, but you can see it's not an easy task to remove the person completely from this image. But we will make it easier by following a step by step process. And I'm sure after watching this tutorial, you are also able to do this. First, we will try to remove the head portion, then the left hand, and after that, the right one. Lastly, we will add text on the book. So, to remove the head portion while holding Alt or Option, double click on layer to unlock the layer. We will make a selection with pen tool of the head. While holding Ctrl or Command plus, zoom in. Now take the pen tool, set part type to shape. Start making the selection from neck. Make selection as accurate as possible. For rest of the head, you don't need to be so accurate. Just cover the head and if you need, you can reduce the opacity to get a better view. Now we have completed the head selection. Hide the shape layer for the time being. Select the rectangular marker tool and make a selection of the wall. We actually want to extend the wall on the face and neck. So its height should be from the head to neck. Select the image layer. Now press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate copy of the wall selection. Now press Ctrl or Command T to transform and scale it to the left until you cover the face and neck. Scale it extra so that we can merge both walls. Click on tick. Now while holding Ctrl or Command make a selection of shape layer 1. Take the eraser tool and start erasing the wall so that it can be merged with the backside wall. Make sure your brush hardness is zero and if needed, increase the eraser size with right bracket or decrease it with the left one. As you can see, because of the selection accuracy on neck, it's easier to remove the wall from outside the neck. Now press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Now both walls are completely merged with each other, like there is no head on this body from the beginning. But the clothing is also looking very weird on the neck. So to resolve it, unhide the shape one layer and press A then Shift A to select Direct Selection Tool. A is actually a shortcut of Path Selection Tool but to switch between Direct Selection Tool you need to press Shift A. Now make a selection only on the head not on the neck. Now press Delete to delete the selected points. Type P to take the pen tool. Now while holding Alt or Option click on the ending point of the path and make the selection complete. Make selection in a way that it look like a t-shirt. We are actually going to fill this area with the same cloth of this t-shirt. And this selection will work as a mask. So rename it this layer as mask. And bottom layer as wall. Now select the image layer. We will copy a portion from here and paste it there. Take the eclipse marker tool. Make a selection of the t-shirt. Now press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate copy of the selection. Press V for move tool and move it over the neck. Drag the layer 1 on the top. Now stretch it to the right to cover the whole neck. Click on tick. While holding Alt or Option, click in between Mask and Layer 1. Now the image is clipped with the mask. Select the mask layer and increase its opacity to get a better view. While holding Ctrl or Command, click on Mask layer to make a selection. Now press Command or Ctrl Shift Alt N to create a new layer. Press B for Brush tool and while holding Alt or Option, pick the darker color from the t-shirt. Increase the brush size and create some shadows on this layer. Let's make the color more darker and create shadows inside the neck. Remember the hardness of the brush should be zero and you can increase the brush size with left and right bracket. To get a good idea of the shadow, you can also search some mock-up for t-shirt. You can take your time. Now to make it more realistic, decrease the brush size and paint over the top portion. Pick a similar color from the corners and paint over. We are actually trying to create a depth on this portion because right now it's looking too flat. Now take the eraser tool, decrease the size and paint over on the edges. It's not looking too flat now. Try to merge it with the sides as well. To do this, while holding Ctrl or Command, select all neck layers and press Ctrl or Command E to merge them. Now zoom in to the right side of the neck and take the rectangular marker tool and make a selection. Click on warp on the header, then drag the mid portion over the right. Click on tick. Take the eraser tool and erase the overlap portion. Also this black borderline. On the left side we will repeat the same process. If you want to merge two things in a specific area, this method is really great. Sometimes this method leaves a gap behind it. So you can use clone stamp tool to fill the gap. You can later adjust the neck portion with warp tool if you want to add more curve to the neck. Now the output is looking really great to me. Now we can say the person is not reading with its head but instead it's using its heart. 
Let's remove the left hand as well. The process is almost same. Make a selection with the pen tool. Now duplicate the shape layer. Hide the shape 1 layer. Rename this layer as book mask. Because right now we will remove the fingers from the book. Select the direct selection tool. Delete all the selection except for the fingers. Then take the pen tool and complete the selection of the book. Now press Ctrl or Command Shift Alt N to create a new layer and choose clone stamp tool. Set the samples layers to all layers. Now while holding Alt or Option, click one time on the mid. Now release the Alt and paint over the bottom portion. It will make a copy of the middle on the bottom. Clone stamp tool works wonder for us. It's all about how we use it. And don't worry if the copy is on the outer portion of the book. We can easily erase it because the selection is in a separate layer. Now while holding Ctrl or Option, make a selection of book mask. Press Ctrl or Command Shift I to inverse the selection. Take the eraser tool and start erasing the extra. Now press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. You can see some patches over the book. To remove them, choose the clone stamp tool. Afterward, remove the extra again. It's actually not a one-time process. You need to refine it more and more until you get a good result out of it. Now the fingers are completely removed from the books. Rename this layer as book and also change the layer from wall to head because it will make more sense. Name the top layer as neck. Naming the layers is very important when you are working with multiple layers so that you don't get confused. Now the rest of the process is very easy to follow. I'm speeding up the process, but the techniques is the same except for the hue saturation option. For example, I have this piece of cloth here, but it's looking too light. Press Ctrl or Command U for hue saturation options. Increase the saturation to add more color to it. And if needed, you can change the hues values as well. Depend on the type of color you want. Now the rest of the process is completely same. We mainly use 5 to 6 tools. Pen tool for selection. Direct selection tool to remove the points. Warp tool to transform the image, eraser tool to remove the extra selection, clone stamp tool to refine it more, brush tool to add shadows or depth, and sometimes hue saturation option to adjust the color and shadows. Now with the step by step process, we actually remove the person from the image. Now here is the part where we want to add the text on the book. Take the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape according to the cover of the book. Now while holding alter option, drag the shape to the left to make a copy out of it. Rename both shape layers as front and back. Move it over the book and right click and convert them into a smart object. Hide the back layer for the time. Double click on front layer to open the smart object. Add some text to it. How to be invisible. By Shubham, that's my name. Now press Ctrl or Command S to save it and close the file. Now while holding Ctrl or Command, skew the shape on the cover. Use the Warp tool, decrease the opacity and align it with the book cover. Click on Tick. Similarly, we will do the same process on the back portion as well. After you adjust both front and back, remove the background layer on both front and back and then save it. If any portion you think is not looking accurate, you can adjust it and redo the same portion. It's all up to you. I hope you learned something new and if you do, hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comment section how was the tutorial. My name is Shubham. Thank you so much for watching Graphic Aina. Let's meet on another great tutorial for the time being. Goodbye.